Hola, hola, my name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, hunter of mineral sunscreens. I love, and I always tell you guys, I love getting recommendations from you guys. I love when you guys slide up in my DMs and tell me, Ramon, you need to try this sunscreen. And that's exactly what happened with today's sunscreen offering. I got a DM from someone, I believe his name is Kiev, maybe Kiev. Kiev or Kev, it's spelled Kiev. He told me, yo, you need to look up this sunscreen from Sunbum. We all know how much I love Sunbum. It looks amazing. He sent me a photo of himself. He's like, this is me with four hours worth of reapplication. Could not clock anything on his skin. And he's like, I would say a high Fenty 300 skin tone. And so I was like, let me see if I can get the sunscreen. And it turned out I actually already had the sunscreen. And so with that, we're talking about the Sunbum Daily Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. This, if you notice, does look different to Sunbum's traditional packaging. This is more or less part of their Sunbum skincare line. And I actually got sent this in PR ugh, sometime like last fall. Never touched it, put it on my bookshelf, didn't look at it. And I've been meaning to try out the Sunbum skincare and I've been mentioning it a lot on the channel. And so when he sent me this, I'm like, let me see if I have it. And I had it. So yeah, I've been playing with this for the last week or so. And I have a lot of thoughts. I'll be testing this with my mineral sunscreen for bees testing rubric. We're talking about beard, beading, beet, and brown skin friendly. I have the timestamps for everything down below and you can always slide through to whatever part of the video you want to watch. And I'll also be breaking down the formulation, my thoughts on the product and whatnot. For the application footage, you're gonna see me weigh out, and I always measure it in my little quarter teaspoon, what a full face worth of sunscreen is like for me, which for me I know is roughly 0.8 grams. So that's how I know I'm applying the adequate amount of this to see what it looks like. Let's get into it. Also disclaimer, I do not know if you can get this in the UK yet. I know in the US this is sold at Ulta, at Target, at REI, randomly, and through Sunbum's website. If I can find a link for this to get internationally, I will put that in the description box as well. But for right now, I think this is a US exclusive. So Sunbum, Daily Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It utilizes only zinc oxide. Well, that's what they advertise as a primary UV filter. I'll get into that in a bit. And this is also an SPF 30. You get 50 mil in this. It retails for about 20 to $22. Although depending on where you get it, you can get a sale. And it's also 80 minutes water resistant, which is actually a really cool claim and worth noting as I get into the explanation of the wear and the skin feel and whatnot. So for application footage, you can see I take half of what I would normally apply and I apply that to half my face. For this day, I only did a hydrator underneath it just because it's a moisturizing sunscreen and so I always err on the caution of this is the moisturizer. I apply 0.4 grams to just one side of my face. I work it in and you can see as I work it in I get a little bit worried because I'm like mm, it has something going on there but you work it in for a couple minutes and it like melts in and I'm like okay some bum I see you. So I work it in and let it sit in for at least five minutes and you see after five minutes once it sets on that half of the face compared to the side without sunscreen it is fairly unclockable in my opinion. More so even you can't even really tell it's in my facial hair at all and because of how sloppily I tend to apply sunscreens. I always get sunscreen that gathers here in like the periphery of my facial hair. None. Do not for this though. I do work it in about three sheer layers on just one half of my face, right? But anyways, half face with or without sunscreen, unclockable. So I work it into the other half of the face, let it sit. That's what it looks like on my skin. I'm a Fenty 290 for reference. So I'm very smack dab in the middle. Melts into me right away. And again, the guy who sent it to me considerably deeper than I am looks amazing on him. So I'm very optimistic this can work at least into the Fenty 400 skin tone range. I of course DM Scamander, my friend Julian already. I told him you need to get your hands on this. Try it out. Tell me what you think. If you're watching this in the future, check the description box. If he has any application footage or any info on it, I'll have that link below. But so far, really, really excited for this. In terms of how it wears under makeup, I'm actually wearing it today under this beat. I've had this on for a couple hours now. I have oily skin. That's always a big factor to consider. And you can see on my bare face, this does have a glow. It does have a shine. It is radiant. It verges on being emollients, even for me. So when I do makeup, I have to prepare myself a certain way, but you can see I look like this right now. I did go in with the mattifying setting spray and powder. I have a good glow. I would blot with this, but worth noting, my eyelids have been creasing. It's me that happens. I guess I'm already getting into it, but let's break down my four beast testing rubric. Again, beard, bead, bead, brown skin friendly. Beard, how it works into facial hair, hairline, eyebrows, all that. Very elegant texture. This is a very gel-like texture, which let me show you actually one pump. This is very gel-like in texture and it works in very easy. And so with that, it's lightweight and it works into the facial hair without clumping. I don't feel like it gets caught in like my hairline very easily. And if it does, it works out very easy because I think the texture of it's very elegant. If I had to compare this to anything texture wise, it would be if the Cots Flawless Complexion and the Live Tinted Mineral Sunscreen had like a love child. That gel texture, but there's still moisturizing body emollients to it. So but overall, really positive experience with the beard. Beading, texture wise, is there any weird 
pilling? Is there any weird attributes when it works into the skin? Is it like clumping? Not at all. Again, but this is my moisturizer. So I haven't used much underneath this. Like I haven't gone in with layers and layers of product. I have oily skin. I really can't do that. Even without anything underneath it and just having this on top of a mist, the toner. Look at how radiant I look. So just know that is worth considering if you have oily skin. This glides on. It is so smooth and creamy. It's a very elegant texture overall. Beats. How it wears with makeup. Again, you see how creamy this is on my skin. This is my moisturizer and sunscreen step in one. I do have to blot. Like before I go with makeup, I do have to blot to take down some of that shine. It does verge on being rich on me. It is moisturizing, moisturizer e, and it does give me a glow. I love that glow, but I have to tone it down before I go in with makeup because if I go in with makeup right away when it's like that, my makeup brushes get nasty. My powders start to oxidize and get that hard layer on top. So I do have to blot before I go in with makeup. If I'm having a bare skin day, no makeup, I do have to blot or powder or else I will be shiny. But overall, realistically, again, it's a moisturizing base. It does prep the skin nicely for makeup. I don't have any weird texture or dryness on my under eyes. There was no weird pilling issues as I was buffing in anything on top of it. And overall, I mean, I will have to blot and powder throughout the day. I don't feel like it disrupts my makeup application and makeup wear. I didn't have any weird breaking up or anything. So overall, very positive. I give it like a B plus, A minus. Biggest qualm is just my eyelids, but that is literally every, even chemical sunscreens will like gather up in my eyelid creases because they're just very oily. But overall, positive and then brown skin friendly. Again, I contend this can probably work very well up into the Fenty high 300, low 400 range. Easy. I will look and see if I can find any application footage and insert it here on screen or have it linked in the description box for anyone that has a deeper skin tone. Real talk, I've seen no one talk about this. And so having Kiev come into my DMs and tell me about this, I was very shocked, but also very happy. Hopefully Julian will get his hands on this very soon. And I'll have that in the description box if you want an application reference. He's like upper Fenty 400s range. So he's a really good deep skin reference. I would contend this is a very good tan, medium, deep skin sunscreen. It is tinted and that's worth noting as well. So you're going to minimize some of the white cast, but it is non-nano zinc. So I'm not saying altogether it's going to be like deep skin friendly at all. My disclaimer. Main formulation points about this again. So this is a mineral only sunscreen. They advertise 15% zinc oxide being the sole UV filter. This is SPF 30 broad spectrum. Worth noting is that this does have titanium dioxide listed in this as one of the ingredients, but they don't necessarily specify whether it's more of a colorant or a UV filter, but that being said, it's in there. I would contend that it is attributing a little bit of UV protection as well in the formulation, but it does also have iron oxide, which is really nice to have because it does offer the added benefit of high energy visible light, AKA blue light protection, which we love to see, especially for skin of color. By the formulation points, this really just has more humectants, more emollients, skin conditioning agents. So that kind of lends itself to like the radiance, the pillowiness, the cushiony like texture of it. You do have things like sunflower extract, cocoa seed, butter, shea butter, coconut oil. So you do have more rich emollients, more lipid rich emollients, more moisturizing emollients, which I think you can definitely feel. To me, this doesn't feel like it's clock gonna clock my pores. Granted though, I do take off sunscreen very adequately. I exfoliate regularly. I know how to handle my skin, especially when it comes to water resistant sunscreens, which this one is. Those kind of ingredients kind of go hand in hand with being water resistant because you need a bit more of a robust water resistant formulation. It just kind of has to happen, at least for like US formulated sunscreens. In terms of key ingredients that aren't UV filters and like emollients and whatnot, the main ones they highlight are a banana extract. And looking at the ingredients list, there's a few different derivatives of this banana extract. Like there's the flower extract, leaf extract, pulp extract, peel extract, fruit extract. Looking into the ingredient itself, there was a study done by a team in Korea that showcased that this does actually have some pretty decent antioxidant potential, specifically due to a component in the ingredient called corosilic acid. Interesting and worth noting. The brand also claims you have some benefits from an ingredient called wild rosella. They say it's more for like moisture retention, AKA like humectant skin conditioning benefits. Looking into the ingredient a little bit more, it does also have some studies showing antioxidant potential, but more so in consumption, not necessarily topically applied. Like there's not a lot of evidence for topical benefits in that regard, but it does show some wound healing benefits, which is worth noting. And then niacinamide as well. So this does have niacinamide, which helps with soothing the skin, boosting some skin barrier benefits and helping with sebum regulation as well. This is also alcohol free and fragrance and essential oil free, which is actually a very rare occurrence for some bum. They're known for their scents and that's what I actually love about them. This does have a smell and it teeters between being a chemically, like this is a raw ingredient smell, but also I'm like, does the banana extracts in there lend its own set of like fragrant compounds? So that's worth noting, but overall, technically alcohol fragrance and essential oil free, which means it's a good option potentially for sensitive skin types. So yeah, overall, my final thoughts on the Sunbum Daily Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. This is a hit. If you didn't know, one of my other favorite mineral sunscreens from back when I first started my channel was one of their tinted mineral sunscreens. It's more like a primer, but it's the one in like the white squeezy tube. I really enjoyed that one. This one is a step, a couple steps up, an improvement on that one. This is a really nice, elegant texture, more gel cream than the other one, which is like more silicone-y feel. They both actually have a very similar skin feel to me. This one is just radiant. It's 
moisturizing. As I mentioned, it reminds me a lot of the Kotz Flawless Complexion. This one is just a little bit less greasy, but this one still has a radiance, it still has a shine. It is still emollient. In terms of it being oily skin friendly, if you like a glow, yes. If you don't mind blotting or powdering, yes. This is more normal to dry skin friendly in my opinion. This is again, 50 mil for $22, available primarily only in the US right now. Price point, it teeters on being more mid-tier than affordable. But that being said, as a tinted mineral sunscreen that could potentially be a very elegant option, it's just really hard to find affordable options. And in terms of sun bum prices, that's pretty on par with everything else sun bum offers. I really enjoyed this. And I mean, for me, this is gonna be more of a winter offering, or again, a more normal to dry skin recommendation. But I think this gets like an A minus from me. Overall, I think it's a slam dunk. I just need to know how this is gonna apply on deeper skin tones before I say, run and get this ASAP. I am very optimistic about this. Again, check the description box. If I can get any application footage or reference from any other creators, I will have that link below in the description box. Did really enjoy this. It looks amazing on my skin, wears great under makeup, no weird facial hair texture issues. Some bum, again, holds its spot as one of my favorite sunscreen brands, period, in the US. And with that, that is my review of the Sunbum Daily Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. Let me know down below in the comments section. Have you used this? What are your thoughts on it? And also, if you can, just for the sake of other people needing a reference, can you put like a descriptor of like your skin tone range, just in case someone's like, oh, like I'm medium tan. I want to see if this will work for me, just so other people can like have a better guide. But let me know, have you tried this, your experience with it? Was it the same as mine? Do you have different opinions? Let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give me the thumbs up and thanks for watching guys. Bye.